So this is my, I think, fourth fourth <laughs> video of kind of my nursing journey. So the first one I talked about things that I recommend that you buy and purchase and bring to the hospital with you. The second video kind of shared my experience, my initial experience with breastfeeding, you know, kind of at the hospital the first couple of days. And then the my last video, the third video, was just, you know, kind of how I went from, you know, not having success to, you know, being able to exclusively nurse for... 12 plus months um, and then this video is kind of me telling how I think that I increased my milk supply and you know any tips that I may have um, so number one is I had mentioned I didn't have a lot of milk you know initially at the hospital so what I did you know he had to stay an extra day and the first thing I did was when we got home from the hospital is I made sure that I pumped every three hours even though he wasn't here you know a lot of people might think oh you know just take the rest sleep but I didn't want to do that because I mean in reality when he comes home I knew I had to feed him every two to three hours so I wanted to make sure one that I was getting up regardless and then to kind of prep myself and then two you know I didn't want my body to think that you know my milk supply did not you know be up to speed right away so I that day when we came home I uh, pumped for every, every three hours so that I could kind of start stimulating my milk. So I had mentioned in the other video that one of the items that I recommend that you buy is a is a hands-free nursing pump so that you don't have to, you know, hold your pump. This is something I didn't have <laughs> the first week, week and a half because I just didn't really think about it. Um, I honestly didn't think that I would be pumping at all. I thought I would just, you know, be nursing. I was a little naive thinking it would, you know, work perfectly right offhand. So what I would do is I would either hold one pump and then do the other side or I kind of sat there on the couch and just kind of help both which is obviously a pain because for however long you're you're pumping you can't really do anything you don't have any hands and you're just kind of stuck um, well unless you have a hands-free one but I didn't have one of those and I'll shake I'll do a video on my pump because I'm actually very happy with the pump I have um, but anyways so that's what I did is I pumped you know every three hours even when Paxton was still at the hospital and not at home with us and then I continued that moving forward so what I did was I pumped and I did not just pump until no long, no more milk came out I pumped way beyond that so my machine and I don't know if this is all breast pump machines but mine will shut off after 30 minutes so I pumped each breast for 30 minutes and just the whole cycle until it shut off and basically I went to you know obviously do whatever is comfortable for you but I kind of went up kind of high on the high section I don't know in my head it was like the more it sucks <laughs> the more it's going to draw it out I don't know but that's just kind of what I did but I like I said I did it for 30 minutes so before I had the nursing bra um, I would either sit here holding my hands for 30 minutes or you know I'd be on my phone with one hand and then have do one at a time which obviously then that takes a full hour because you're doing 30 minutes for each um so that's what I did. Then when he came home, we, as I mentioned in the other video, uh, there were two additional days that we continued to supplement um, with formula. So I would pump and put that in a bottle so that I can see how much he was getting. He was really tiny and we were really concerned about his intake. So I wanted to make sure I could actually visualize that as opposed to, you know, putting him on the boob. Plus I knew his latch wasn't great and it wasn't really working anyways. So I didn't want to stress about that, make him get tired and not drink. So I just, put what I pumped in a bottle fed him and then if he needed more then I would supplement with the formula and I really only did that for two additional days after he came home from the hospital because at that point then I had enough milk to feed him plus have enough um, bottles prepped for the following day so my milk supply just kind of like exponentially increased when it came in and I really think it was helpful by pumping for those for that extra amount of time to just get everything started and then as I mentioned in my other video so this I continued um exclusively pumping and feeding him just with the bottles for until he was three weeks old and then at three weeks was when I started um nursing him and what I did when I started nursing him I nursed him and pumped 
So again, I don't know if this was necessary, but obviously this is what really caused my milk supply to skyrocket, is I would nurse him, and then after he would nurse, I would put the pump on and I would pump out all the extra, all the other milk because I knew that he wasn't, you know, you know, I, well, I guess I didn't know, but I didn't know how much he was drinking. We didn't have our hatch baby scale at that time. And I just wanted to make sure that if he was a slow drinker, that it, my body wouldn't think, oh, this is all he needs. So I kind of forced my body to produce more than was necessary, I guess, which again, I don't know if it's a good thing, a bad thing, or what have you, but that's what I did. So I, after I nursed him and he was full, I would hook myself up to the pump and I would pump. And I did that for every single feeding, except for obviously in the nighttime, because during the night feeding, he got the bottle and I just only pumped um, up until he was, um, like I said, until he was about eight weeks. And that's when I exclusively um nursed him even throughout the night but I continued on with the pumping I actually continued on with the pumping because I was very paranoid that I, I had this fear that I would just all of a sudden stop producing milk and my goal was to get packs into a year so I basically started filling up the freezer as fast as I could um so by the time he was two months old I had enough milk in the freezer we ended up buying a chest freezer and that was completely full um and we kind of were at capacity and that's when my husband said okay we need to we need to stop and we don't have room for your milk anymore and at that point we just started swapping out the old milk and i would do milk baths with paxton and you know just replenish it with the new milk and it was at that point where i said okay i need to kind of wean down my pumping and so that's when i started to um, not pump after every feeding. So I pumped after every feeding until he was about two months. And then at that point I said, I, you know, our freezer was already full. So there really was no point for me continuing to produce as much milk and, and store it. So I stopped pumping during the day and then I, um, I just pumped, you know, I still, I still pumped in the evening. So during the day I didn't pump. Um, but then in the evening, I did pump because he started sleeping longer through the night, not really through the night, but we would put him down at 6 and he wouldn't wake up for our feeding until about 10. So I pumped between that just because that was a long stretch. And I actually ended up pumping until he was about 9 months old was when I completely put the pump away and stopped pumping. Um, so I kind of held on for a long time that, that last pump session. Um, where I would pump and that milk like I said since he wasn't bottle, bottle fed I would just with those pumping sessions I produced 12 ounces um, that we that we that we didn't really know what to do with because like I said the freezer was full so we kind of rotated it and then I just you know basically we use a ton of breast milk just to bathe Paxton in um, so I think for me did I overdo it? Probably with the pumping. But, you know, if you don't have a lot of milk, I highly recommend, you know, just pumping a lot. You know, even after you nurse him, pump um, just to really get the milk milk to come in. And then, um, obviously, I have mentioned in the other video the nipple cream because you'll need that at the beginning. But food and things that I ate. So I did some reading and it said that coconut water is helpful with your, I don't know if it's true, it's helpful with that, with your milk supply. So I drank that. I bought the little booby bars, which they are delicious. They're extremely expensive, but they are very good. And then I bought, very good as in taste wise, I don't know if they did anything. Um, and then I ate oatmeal. So at the beginning, I ate oatmeal basically like every day. Um, and I drank coconut water. So I drank coconut water and oatmeal basically until I started filling up the fridge and then I realized, okay, I have enough milk and then I just kind of ate normal. But those are kind of my tips. I did not work out or anything like that. That was a big thing that I was concerned about is that if I, you know, started working out, losing weight, that my milk supply would drop. So I, I didn't, I'm still not working out, not because of the milk supply, but just because I'm lazy. And um, I just made sure that I didn't, you know, restrict my intake on food. So I ate carbs. I kind of ate everything that I wanted. Um, I feel like breastfeeding cravings are a lot more intense than pregnancy cravings. Um, so it's kind of hard to rein that in. Um, 
but yeah so those are kind of my tips and kind of what i did to really boost my milk supply so obviously if you take it to the extreme like i did and if you pump a lot just be aware you know that you know you might get mastitis or you might get you know clogged clogged ducts so just you know don't overdo it <laughs> um and then you know that's what worked for me i would love to hear you know if if you did anything differently or what worked for you in the comments below and I hope you find this helpful and then I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.